Anthony Nichols died after what is described as an industrial-sized firework was set off by a group of men who had burst into his home. He later died in hospital. The detective leading the investigation said the motive was still not clear. Uh, at around 20 past 11 on the 2nd of November, uh, a group of, of men have burst into a house in the Tarcross area of Birmingham uh, and they've, uh, they've placed what can be described as a, an industrial type firework within the, uh, the hallway and living room of that house. The firework was lit uh, and unfortunately it's caused a fairly substantial fire within the property. The two occupants uh, had to, to, to flee for their safety. Uh, the first jumped out of an upstairs window and has, uh, has, has resulted in her injuring her legs in quite a substantial way. Uh, and the second uh, occupant has unfortunately died, since died as a result of uh, the incident. Um, it's my understanding, it's my belief, strong belief, that the answers uh, to, to this investigation lie within the local community. And I would urge anybody to please come forward and to talk to us and to tell us what they know. Anthony Nichols' daughter, Fiona, spoke on behalf of her family. It's horrendous what's happened to my dad. Words can't describe um, how me and my family are feeling. Um, my dad made no enemies. He was hard working. He was a funny man. Um, I just want someone to come forward and give any information whatsoever, please. Detectives are analysing hundreds of hours of CCTV in an effort to identify the killers, and they're asking for anyone who may have information about what happened to come forward. In particular, the independent charity Crime Stoppers are offering a reward of up to £10,000 for information, which leads to the arrest and conviction of Anthony Nichols' killers. Information passed to Crime Stoppers is always treated anonymously. You can call 0800 555 111 or use their anonymous online form at www.crimestoppers-uk.org.